So later on, they end up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. What? Did somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, no, he did not. Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me. Go down as a legend in my city, cause we beat the streets. Trying to spread the wealth around the block, no, I can't keep from me. Told me I should leave. I see the bigger picture, and it's way bigger than me. Can't be living like a king, but my people need to eat. If I got it, then you got it, we gon' get back on our feet, and I put it on me. Woo! What is going on, Real Squad, and welcome back to the real flicks channel and this is another reaction to beyond scare straight jojo edition man when i tell you that cj the champ is an amazing talent and his voiceovers for this is hilarious i've watched almost almost all of them so far i just haven't been able to bring any of the channel but i did see that he just dropped one yesterday so of course we're gonna react to it and bring it to the channel but those of you guys that are new please just a quick second subscribe to the channel Hit the thumbs up. It greatly helps your boy out. Enjoy the family. We'll be having a great time. Great time laughing. Be playing horror games, reactions, you know, so on and so forth. E everything. Come on and join the fam bam. Can't wait to get into this reaction. So with that being said, let's get into this, shall we? Beyond Scared Straight JoJo Edition. Loco Baroco. I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant. What's up with the top of his head? He got like a... All right, everybody, that's a rundown. Oh, my God. Why does he look like that? Questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about... Should I say to you to speak? <laughs> no, sir. Damn. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor. It's just your ass up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I'm not 100% too familiar with the show. So there's probably gonna be some bits in here that I don't get some references that I don't understand. So I do apologize in advance, but see right, that champ, and it's hilarious, man. It is finally time to return to jail. I beg your pardon? Goddamn prison. Cause <laughs> Jolene has been locked up. So yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street prison. Cause my God, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a daycare. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Please sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium as we will observe pure ignorance. <laughs> you punk ass, yeah, punk ass. Fatherless <laughs> behavior. Damn. In the name Why? Of the on this special programming of. Smack the hell out of him. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So we're probably all wondering, alright, so uh, how did our boy Jotaro's daughter end up getting locked up? Well, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So we start off in these holding cells, and they're talking about Master. What? Whoa! Oh, oh. Think about the moonlight going in through the shape of the window box. Turns me this off. Can't be happening. Right <laughs> what? This is what? Another season, and they already talking about. <laughs> in this unsanitary ass cell. And then old girl talking on the left like, oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you? Then Jolie start talking and she like, uh-uh-uh, don't be talking, boo-boo. I can tell just by your finger. You in here for <laughs> And some people really wonder why this show was called JoJo's Bazaar. Adventure. Yo. And old girl like, oh, so you really like that. So uh, how did you end up in here? Jolene Cujo. 19 years old. Hit run. I'm in here for She's like 19 of this? Run. Miss Cujo, uh, can you please explain to me your situation right now? Why is his ear so pointed? Is he a damn elf? Get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had two burglary charges? Damn. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, well, can you just please explain the situation? Well, you see, what had happened was me and my nigga Romeo was riding down the street. Now, I thought he was real cute, nigga, even though his barber <laughs> Up right before <laughs> Yo, what, what is that haircut? Yo, please get back to the situation. Oh, my bad, Chief. So, uh, long story short, we ended up hitting a nigga. So, I'm trying to call 911, but Romeo said, Jolene, don't do it. Homie already dead. So, let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk. So, obviously, I'm freaking out what? and everything, but then he said, Jolene, listen. Why he hold her like that? And you, my Juliet. So stop acting weird and shit, and let's shove the mother in the trunk. So we shoved him in the trunk, and that's why I'm here. Okay, so what you're telling me is Romeo hit the victim, right? I ain't telling you, nigga. I ain't no fed. <laughs> His <laughs> ears, though. So while they're still talking, he ends up giving her this tray, and on this tray is a pendant, and he says it's from her dad. Why well, you got the Call of Duty like, music in the background? My dad, that bum ass. I don't want this. You got that Black Ops music in the background. Ends up plucking her. 
And well, we all know what happens in JoJo when something weird hits you. Like, let's say a mask or an arrow. So after this, she ends up getting transported over to the Yeah, see, this is the part and that I, I'm confused about. Y'all know what the f going on. It's your girl, Ermie. This is my second time in here. And for this offense, I'm in here for robbing the 7-Eleven across the street. So then she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins on you, you gonna turn into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five twenties in one and 50 in the other. What? And they tell Jolene to get off. So uh. she gets off. She can still hear the people in the bus. And the officers are trying to rob Ermies. So she take out the 20 in her head, but they like, hey, Shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we're gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this thread ends up coming from Jolene's hand. Oh. And the wind ended up slicing off homie's ear. Oh my God. What? So then after this, she ends up having her trial. And this is where it started to get wild. So the judge says, I see that you took this plea deal. But the thing is, the body that you disposed of, homeboy was still alive. So therefore, you are an accessory to murder. Oh. So that'll be 15 years. Huh? Get out there. Oh. Look at the lawyer, bro. Just let it happen. She like, wait a minute. This his makes ears. No oh my like God. Look at this middle earth. Is he an elf? Why is his ears look like that? Happened. So he walks back. Why is his ears like that? Tom, homeboy was getting freaky with Romeo. What? So Jolene got packed up and she was sent off to the Green Dolphin Street prison. Is he? Is he? Are there gay people in this show? I, I do not so know. So while she's going through intake. She ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her, she's like, Ooh. Oh, God, I'm gonna shoot the shit out of your ass. Where's his string so coming from? Dropping away. One of her threads come through his AC. And she ended up choking the nigga. What? What? Nah, bro, I gotta watch this like show now. That. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Local Who is local. this dude? I'm the warden here at Green. Why the top prison. of his head look like this that? Assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's a rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about? Hey, should I say to you to speak? Uh, um, no, sir. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor. It's shut your ass up! So then we end up meeting her cellmate, Gwes. So Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, but she throws the whole bar Whoa! Down. Look at the, the bottom bunk is mine, you Damn! You could take the top. But she ends up having the pendant. Bird and there is a literal person in there. So then she over here sitting on what this bitch hell? yelling at this bird and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody called Peter. But Jolene ends up grabbing the bird. What is this string? It's out of commission. So then Gwes comes over and grabs her like a titan. And she forces her to put on this rat suit. So I'm she confused. Can escape prison. Why is so she, she small? Makes Jolene run through this gate, but her body starts to grow again. So while she's running back to the gate, how does she get small? Stand! Oh my god! Look like a gremlin. He got the the cell theme. Bar. So Google Dolls tries to jump up and kill her, but she ends up smacking that. Nigga. She's like, oh my god! Is this? Is this my stand? So she ends up rocking her sh Oh, okay. Oh, you really thought you was about to pull a fast one on it, nigga, huh? Well, I'm about to beat you like my daddy, bitch. Yeah. Oh, damn. She is out of her. So yeah, bro, she was done. And Ooh. she took the bottom bunk for my ass. Made her sorry ass take the top bunk. So then the next day, she <laughs> ran over by the phones, and this girl come over and ask her for some money, and she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give us some spare change, but then Quest come back over, and she like, Jolene, girl, what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that? That's how you become a bitch. You best go get your money back, or you're going to be looking like her. Oh, uh, damn. So Jolene goes and tracks her down and asks her for the money back, but then the girl says, Didn't I say I'll pay you back? What's wrong with you, nigga? Does your brain now work or something? What is I this show? Can't process shit. So Jolene walked back and she like, all right then. So she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee. So she run off to the bathroom because she got a doodle, but Jolene's sitting in the bathroom. Chilling. So like, okay, I'm sorry. I'll give you your money back. You know what? I'll even double it. So she come out and smack the She like sold. Now give me that ten dollars. Appreciate doing business with you. So then as she Oh wow, they really gotta look like the real money. She sees this baseball and then she sees this little boy. So then the kids start talking, he's saying, you will have a visitor, but do not meet the visitor. 
So then after this, the kid disappears and this guard comes over and smacks him in the head. Bro said, what you doing looking at a ghost bitch? Oh, I'll show you Casper. Damn. So then the next day, homeboy come back and he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hit you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars and I had to follow the rules. My <laughs> you oh, was my touching the bars. So she goes to see the visitor and it's none other than Joe Toro Kujo. I am him. Joe Don't Toro. Play me, on the dead he is him. On Jonathan Joe Star's heavenly grave. <laughs> I am him. So Jolene looking at him and she like, oh. Hell nah. So she socks the security guard. Damn. Oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? Because damn, it took you longer. Oh, to that's just looking at her, like, her, his daughter. Girl, shut the f up and sit down. Right? Listen, you were framed. My homeboy right here. You want to know why you were framed? Because you are Joe Star. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Jolene goes up to the door, but her handcuffs are off. And she ended up getting shot. <laughs> What the hell? He ended up stopping it. So John Gallier's how how did that even happen? Is like literal wall hex with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in his cell. Oh, oh boy, should I take her out? Up he ends up doming the security guard. Woo! Oh First face Gabby and now face John Gallier. God damn! Like who's next? Face Usopp? So later on, they end up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. What? Did what? somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, no, he <laughs> did not. <laughs> so then they escape the room, but then a guard approaches. And then another guard approaches. And the first one pops a cap in it. Oh head. my and god. Like, Damn minute. Ain't no way. It's that Gaffey's golly. Oh. Hey, homie came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting. So Jotaro has to use Star Platinum. But then this Why stand ends up him? coming behind him. Bro says, hmm. Looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of White Tooth Snake. So, bro, pimp slaps him. And these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro, what basically the hell? stole my dude's rooms. And now he gets shot. Oh, my God. So then Jolene puts him in a spin cycle that starts beating his ass. And look at Jotaro. He's like, hmm, looks like my daughter's beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. Now I'm about to pass out. What was those discs, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So Joe that damn revived outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count. But there is still hope. So she starts talking to the kid again. And he basically says, yo dad got his soul snatched. So we learned the kid's name is Emporio. And bro grew up in the prison. He was born here. He was raised here. Oh my God. How's this he? Pain. I was born in it. Molded by it. So we go back to Galier after he got his ass beat. So White Snake pull up and he's like, hmm. Looks like you got your ass beat. So oh, therefore, why? You take from phase. So after this, Jolene ended up getting Damn, five years body to into her sentence because of that escape. And she got stuck in the punishment war for like <laughs> weeks. So a few weeks end up passing. So they got everybody outside to so the water and like, all right, everybody listen to fuck up. What is up with this damn two puppet? Go missing the other day. So uh, uh, somebody need to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers in armies as well because she's like, hmm, have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to my side the quest. They risk like they're the suicide squad or something. So the guard says, if you get 50 meters away from me, yo ass goes boom, boom. So he ends up getting on a four wheeler and he takes off. So they like, wait a damn minute. Hold on, homeboy, you going a little too fast. Oh, yeah. that's Jolene. messed up. She's like, hmm, what's up, girl? I got to tell you about my side quest. So you see what had happened was I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating him through the room, and then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen, and he was trying McQueen. to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. I also met the little boy with the baseball cap, so uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now. So later on, while they walking, the guard comes in and tries to antagonize him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? The and also, there are now six prisoners out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. So then the bro. bombs start beeping, and they look over at the officer, and then gone. And then a girl in the back, oh. like, wait a minute. Why is mine beeping faster? Hello? What the fuck? Oh, my God. 
That's got to be one of the most tragic deaths Ooh. I've ever seen. You really died to a wrist bomb. So they pull up on them and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up Fire smacking out. this one. Damn. The army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? And Jolene said, <laughs> shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. But then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. At the same time? What in the invader zim is that? So he got the music like, in the background. <laughs> just put some respect on my name, nigga. How dare you disrespect my set and run up on my lake? So homeboy start moving like an exoskeleton. Uh. Uh. So then Jolie starts chasing after him, and then he's like, oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty bitch. But then she started making the tractor move and the disc or take Where's the guard, the, though? The homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How dare you hit a lick on me? Oh, my God. He ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolie stops. She's like, ah, 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 stop. We're going to keep him. So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass peanut head ass, <laughs> green bean looking ass girl? Green bean. See this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolie said, no. I hereby announce no. this severed head of a water type Pokemon, a Jobra. So they end up finding Star Platinum's disc. But then the girl this that got blown disc. up earlier then pulled back up. And she like, hold on, it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighters. I just went ahead and just took over the dead girl body with this old pineapple head ass hair. What? She got had a leaf on her head. So they end up getting picked up by all the cops. So, so use her body as a vessel? Evening, we see white kind of snake in the shed. And then we see the user. Father Poochie, I spend the block in the name of the Lord. Dad. I am that good. <laughs> Father, I was wondering if I could get parole. <laughs> parole? You must be out of your damn mind. But Father, I, 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 don't speak until I tell you to speak, bitch. Yes, Father. Damn. Now then, sister, have you paid your tithes and offerings this month? Um, no, Father. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, nah, boo boo, that ain't gonna do. Have you taken your communion this month? Um, no, Father. Oh, sweet Lord, heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. Father, I promise you. Oh, right in the corner of the desk. The streets, did she emerge into the streets? She shall return. And I say unto you, she is for the streets. So be not worried when she must return from when she came. In Galatians chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. Drill that into your head. No, he did not. So later on, while so he killed her? Playing catch, this one girl starts sipping on FF water. So she like, hey, go get your nasty ass, busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water. Is that a girl so or a dude? Catch, and the girl that Poochie beat up pull up and she like, I bet y'all $100 y'all won't last. So Jolene like, hold on, I ain't got that type of money. She said, it don't matter. I'll take anything of value. So Jolene's like, no. I got to watch this show. And she's like, yo. Jolene, we cannot pass this up. You see how many racks she got in her sock? We playing uh -huh. the game. So they start playing the game, but then Foo Fighters gets distracted. She like, hey, f away from my cup, nigga. So she almost <laughs> dropped the damn ball, but they end up Where making my it to 100. So then she like, all right, then I throw it 100 more times and I'll give you a whole band. Take it or leave it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. You telling me she got a whole band in prison? No way, bro. What type of operation is she running up in here? Right. She's playing for $1,000 now, but it's starting to get late. But then the guard come behind her. He's like, hey, nigga, time is up. So put the damn Damn. So Why are all their heads head head shaped head hella funny? He's like, all right, then. I'll be taking the glove, though. So she ends up almost dropping the ball, but she picks it up with her stand ability. But apparently, Ooh. that was against the rules. So then old girl Stan comes out. Stan was like, pay your debt, so it rips out the money that Ooh. was stuck in her side boob. Then she like, hmm, that ain't enough. So I'll be taking your liver. What? Hurt my liver over looking at that. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start playing again so they can oh get her God. liver back. So they keep on running. It so took her liver though? The elevator. So then she throw the ball out, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. Said, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Why you got? Yeah, she's like, <laughs> game over, <laughs> nigga. Now pay your debt. Oh. She ends up smacking her with the ball. She like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. <laughs> Stupid ass. Now I'm about Look to at her Look at her. Look at cool. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she the did. Day, she go over to use the phone. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the f***? Hold on, hold on. Take a seat, boo-boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable. <laughs> bitch, give me that. Take a coat, too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. So 
So then she ends up calling the speed. They really got the brass in here. So they like, all right, listen, we still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. Then she ended up walking up to this double chin. What is up guard. with the she weird designs of these AI people? So she started yelling, but then she saw that money. She said, you could pass. So then she sees Emporio again. He says, bring your ass over here. So then she ends up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on, what is going on? Why is what? homie in a piano right now? Weather report, I'm a certified meteorologist. And also this piano is- This show is piano. weird. So she's like, wait a minute, Emporio, so you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm Casper. Look, I could pull a whole belt out of my ass. I'm literally a video game character inventory. So they gonna try the to get hell? to the courtyard so weather report is gonna come along and help. My God, homie getting real close to, hey, what's good with you? So they head into the courtyard and what is that? Who is oh, that? Nah, bro, look at him. Look at his shoes. Hell no, why look like a big old roach? Concept art. So while old doodle man's on the prowl, Jolene starts to float. So she's like, ah, his standability is zero gravity. So they end up following old doodle man to this room. Doodle man. <laughs> All the oxygen out of the room bro made the room a vacuum so then weather report ends up making some clouds the hell then they end up beating oh man. my god oh god bro get him off of my screen damn bro, this man lang wrangler gives me absolute nightmares like when i think of the boogeyman i think of this nigga. so then the door uh, like a big old roast to me poochie is at the door bro looking at jolene like my well, he got this church music playing should i beat her ass right now or let her pass. So she's like, please, father, let me pass. So he just looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So she finally makes it to the courtyard. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him. And this man pulls out the blicky. Damn. Poochie's like, ah, stupid bitch. You really thought you was going to get out of here with that disc? So we get a flash from 1988. And this man, Poochie, is chilling with the biggest hater in anime history. This man, Dio, the ultimate hating ass nigga. Bro's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who I really hate, though? Them goddamn Joe Stars. So Poochie ended up learning the ways of Dio what? to become an ultimate hating ass. So he could ascend to ultimate hating hood in heaven. Hate so when the reporter's over here beat up, and he's like, huh, I guess I have to use my final attack. So. It's Damn, he raining. Blasting her stuff. Oh my God, bro! Like really? He's out in Florida. It is really? Really? Raining frogs. frogs. <laughs> I mean, it is Florida. <laughs> Are we surprised that like this happens? No, we aren't. So yeah, this man weather report literally started making it rain poisonous frogs. So this man Poochie's like, God. Damn, I got all this shit on my $800 pants, knuckle. So he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down. So Poochie sees his guard. He's like, hey, cut up the door. But he starts running away. So he's like, you pussy. So he <laughs> kicks the frog at dude and makes him go blind. Yeah. Oh. He got the dude to open the door and he just left. So he Damn. goes outside to go get the disc. That's a stand, right? But yeah, that's a stand. She was shielding herself the whole time. So she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact. So this man, Poochie, was pissed. He goes over to her and starts going crazy. Bruh said, oh, you think you did something, bitch? You ain't do jack shit, <laughs> That's what your daddy did. And you will always be a fatherless ass child. Damn, Wait, calm so down, bro. Left. Jolene went to the ICU, and it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Okay. Yeah, that was Beyond Scared Straight JoJo what? Edition. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, also, 1 million subscribers. Thank y'all very much. Off of only 36 videos. To me. Like, for real, like, I'm just a dude that just likes to watch anime and talk about it. And it's just crazy to me, you know, that, like, we, we really up in here now. So, uh, thank y'all so much, Off of man. 36 uh, sure videos. Follow my other socials, and, uh, I am out of here. Yeah. Good shit, man. Congratulations to uh, Mr. CJ, the champ. Off of 36 videos, you made it to a million subscribers. Now that that in itself, a million subscribers is a good feat, but off of just 36 videos, I know most content creators take some hundreds upon thousands before they even get to that milestone, and you did it in only 36 videos.
that's crazy man anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's reaction please again just a thumbs up it, it does not take much seriously you on your phone just a pick of the, hit of the finger if you're on your computer just a click of the mouse that's it just a quick like and subscribe to the channel i'm telling you we have a great time over here playing these games make a suggestion down in the comment section below on what videos you guys think i should react to next because i'm open for comments feedback and i will take them under advisement all right so that being said, until next time, guys, take care of yourself, and I'm going to see you in the next video.